So you can come cheer on your favorite players and uh, yeah, two time. two players already established that are going to be in the finals. Game time winter. We're working on uh, getting the other two corralled up here. I think you mean puck and winter. Puck and winter. What did I say? Game time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Predictions? I don't know. <laughs> All right, now jumping on into our next map, it is going to be Iron Fortress in the upper right-hand corner. We have our yellow Zerg. His name is Game Time. And in the bottom left-hand corner, the blue Terran, it is Zahn. So what do you think at this point if, if you're Zahn? You know, you, you, you just went down against your friend Puck. And now you're going up against the game time, but you've lost your first match. So you're one uh, game away from going down, uh, period. You know? I'd be thinking, man, i got to win this game. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but, but, but what do you do? What do you, how do you do that? Uh, you know, I don't know. Zan has had some pretty solid play. Um, I've been, it's, been, uh, it's been a pleasure to cast him. Um, the, but the one thing we haven't seen is we haven't seen any real aggressive movements out of like he hasn't we haven't seen him establish himself on the map we've seen him do some poking we've seen him you know get some damage done but we haven't seen him do that like kind of like the Terran crawl I'll call it out of his uh, and really gets to put that I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna mold that back around we have seen Zan get stuck and corralled in positions but we haven't seen him stick or corral his opponent in positions in other words he's been controlled not controlling <laughs> That was hard, man. But game Words. time, he's going to go right ahead for an expansion uh, right out the gates. And we are going to see that Reaper opening once again from Zahn. If there's one thing we've seen from our players today, it's consistency. <laughs> <laughs> when you got a build, you do a build. Yep. Uh, well, like, like Puck said, you know, a lot of players have been uh, playing Legacy of the Void more now and uh, are kind of coming back to Heart of the Swarm with their Legacy of the Void builds. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, you know, play very differently and you got to be careful uh, about how you execute those. Is the, You know, just the pacing of the game is very different. Yep. Uh, Zan going to be scouting around, tried the first location, did not find his opponent. Uh, it's going to be a while for game time to actually find his opponent. So he's going to be in the dark here for for a few minutes as uh, his overlords are going to take quite a bit of time to get over there. The He's Reaper going to be coming out here shortly, though. Yeah, and game time probably has an idea of where his opponent is based on where that SCV was coming from. Two drones now headed down to the natural expansion of game time to even out his production here. Not really going for any gas, so he does have spawn pool down. A uh, few lings in production. I'm wondering if we're going to see a third base here or something. And it looks like Zan is uh, looking for the right way to kind of enter in here with this Reaper without being detected. But Zerglings are there to, to greet him, and he's going to try and pick one off. He does get the one, so we're not seeing quite as much micro from game time as we did that first game. <laughs> IND in chat asking if it's warm in Detroit. It is never warm in Detroit <laughs> in November. <laughs> No, way, it's still October. It doesn't matter. It's still cold. It will be November tomorrow. Yep. And it is cold. Reaper just healing up underneath that overlord, just saying hello to each other. Those Reapers do heal really fast, too. Yep. Now both Reapers are going to join up to get some damage done together. Uh, the, the micro that's coming out of both of these plays right now for game time to not lose SCVs, or to lose uh, not lose Zerglings, and also for Zan not to lose Reapers is pretty impressive. Uh, another drone going to be coming down here to build some extractors. More micro out of Zan to evenly distribute the damage between his two Reapers. Meanwhile, he is continuing to mine and expand as he gets his natural expansion up. I'm going to be transferring some SCVs over there in a moment. And now we're seeing the first gas coming out of game time. Uh, and getting three kind of all at the same time here. As he's transitioning into some more Reapers. Reaper's moving up and <laughs> being shoved back by three queens who are not very happy with them at the moment. Yeah, I mean, Game Time has done a really good job of making a lot of queens early. It's really helped him defend a lot of these pushes. Yeah. Um, it's kind of made him not have to get quite as many of the larva costing units. 
so that's been good. Also, you know, we haven't mentioned it a lot today. Uh, we are your casters. I'm Wingnut SC, and with me is Galligation. Indeed. If you like what you see here, uh, do us a solid. Go on Twitter, follow us. Uh, I'm at Wingnut SC, and he's at Galligation, ironically. It's on the screen. It's actually spelled correctly now. Yeah. Uh, our correctly, overlay right? was, what did it say, Galignation? Galignation, <laughs> yeah. That's all right, though. Reaper's moving up, going to put some pressure on that hatchery. Very uh, minimal pressure, as they don't do a ton of damage to buildings. And Lings are moving forward with some roaches, but it's possible that these are going to just pull these roaches out of position for these Hellions as they're moving forward. I remember the day when, uh, when Reapers had, uh, had explosive canisters that attacked buildings, and it was a lot more... That, that was a, a explodey. Very different use of Reapers back then. Sorry, exclamation point, casters or caster doesn't work. Did not set that up. So 1-1 one, one going down for the missile upgrades for the Zerg player. So it's likely we're going to see a similar composition as we saw last game. Yep. Revenge of Titus. Yes, we were playing Archon mode last night. It was a good time. We're actually going to be having an Archon mode tournament of our top four tomorrow. Um, right before the grand final, so that will be a, a pretty cool thing to see. Uh, the winners will take home an additional $20 each, uh, so that'll be fun. Roach is getting poked from above by the Banshee here. The Queens will come in and try and do something about it, but it cloaks, and that's going to be all she wrote for that. Yep, three hits, and that Queen is going to fall. Overseer is on its way over, and that's going to be revealing that Banshee, but the Queen's already taken a couple of shots. And the second queen's moving forward. That bench has got to get out of there. It's going to lose its life. A few more shots on <laughs> those roaches. Game time is clearly looking elsewhere. Yeah, these Hellions have been uh, very idle out here. Not really getting a whole lot done. Uh, they're just kind of hanging out. Although there is enough of them that... Man, the, the roaches just die brutally in fire when they get <laughs> roasted, by, uh, roasted by Hellions here. Um... Meanwhile, Stim, Combat Shield, and, uh, I'm sorry, Stim and Plus One, Plus One coming down for the Marines and uh, other bio units of Xan. This is turning into what looks like a bit of a, a longer-paced game here for Xan. Uh, one thing about game time, he hasn't really gotten a lot of creep spread growing. He's got his bases linked up, but he hasn't been uh, spreading it out across the map, which uh, on a big map like this can be, you know, really important as far as detecting those drops coming in or just getting yourself out on the map a lot faster. Yeah, and I mean, especially when you on this map where you've got that that far third base, you really got to be able to move units over there quickly, uh, especially against mobile units. And we are seeing that Banshee doing some damage back on that extractor with no help in sight. Yep, not much you can do about that. Nope, uh, that's gonna go down. Game time's uh, gas mining is going to be affected slightly there. And, oh, he's going to actually take it out again. That's rough. Whoops. Zan going to take out an overlord that's pooping creep all over <laughs> the third base here of Zan. So that is going to take him some additional time to land that down. These overlords being a real problem for him. But he still does have all of these Hellions out here that he's not been able to do anything with. And <laughs> just now, finally, that Banshee has been cleaned up. Still now starting to move around with those Hellions. Now going to see what's going on in the third base. There is only a Queen there, so this is a good opportunity for him to strike. He's going to move on in. There's one Hydralisk. That is not going to stand up well. Now moving down the rest of the Roaches. Doesn't really get much done, but does end up taking out that Hydralisk. Now, the one thing I am glad to see here is I am glad to see that some tanks are being produced by Xan. That is one thing we have not seen so far is uh, Zan uh, starting to move across with what I, was, what I was talking about earlier is him being able to basically take a position and hold it on the map to make game time react. He has not been able to do that. It looks like he's starting to get in a position where he might be able to. A couple thanks, Marine Marauder. But at the same time, game time has quite a formidable force here going. Supply is 164 to 130. And yeah, and he's going to be starting to try and do something here pretty quickly as the 2-2 upgrades are getting close to finishing on that range. Yeah, once that finishes along with uh, um, Hydralis speed, that is going to be, um, it's gonna be yep. pretty brutal. Man, I love this map. I love that Zerg will go in the middle. I've mentioned that a couple times. <laughs> the third base of Xan here is a little bit exposed. It's quite a ways away from the others. Um, now game time is starting to spread its creep out across the map. Not super aggressively, but it's starting to get there. And it just makes those units move so much faster. You see them come off the creep and they slow down. Yep. 
Um, but you know, now he's starting the grand march across the map. An epic scan there. Able to see the exact moves. <laughs> Game time's like, ah, you see nothing. <laughs> nothing to see here. Yeah, Zan really just trying to hold against this push. It's the same type of push that we saw last game. And uh, if he can hold off against it, he'll be in pretty good shape. Yeah, game time moving down here. It looks like he's setting up to get a nice concave going. The one thing is, though, it, it, that third base is pretty exposed here, but game time not too worried about it. He has got quite a concave oh, coming right on up here, marching up with that plus two, plus two on those range units and yeah. just obliterating. Yeah, those tanks, well, well intentioned have <laughs> melted. <laughs> well intentioned. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good lately. Those tanks were so well intentioned. Yeah, so. <laughs> SCD oh. is being pulled off, and there's the GG well played. Zan once again being a good sport. GG yeah. well played out of him. Uh, that is going to be his last match as he's now eliminated from the loser bracket. Um, but, you know, good sport. Been talking to him quite a bit. And, yep. uh, but uh, good game from uh, game time. He's going to move on. Uh, let me check the bracket here. Uh, again, if you type uh, exclamation point brackets in chat, you'll be able to see the bracket. So, Xan versus game time. So, Game time is going to be done for the day. He's going to move into loser round six. That will be the first match that we play tomorrow. Yep. Um, and he's guaranteed top four at this point. Yep. So it looks so like... So he will be one of the players that we will see in the Archon tournament tomorrow. Yep. Looks like uh, Nil versus Fat Cat is in progress right now. Um, and uh, the winner of that will go up against Spider Slayer. So we may see Spider Slayer on stage one more time today. Um, do, you, do you know what our next match is, Mr... Okay, next match is being established, so we'll uh, go to a quick break here, and we'll let you know when that's ready. But before we go real quick, I want to let you know for the ones that have joined us recently, this is Yomacon 2015 Detroit, Michigan. We're at the Renaissance Center right along the beautiful Detroit River. Mm -hmm. It is really nice out there. It's cold. I wouldn't, recommend, cold. Uh, I wouldn't recommend going out to experience the Detroit River. I think it's rainy, too, actually, yeah. today. It's, it's kind of a dreary, great yeah. day to be inside for a conference and playing Usu and watching StarCraft. Usually Halloween weekend around here the last few years has been pretty awesome awful weather-wise. Yeah. Uh, we are your commentators, casters, producers, streamers. Uh, I'm Wing That SC. This is with me is Galligation. You can Hello. find us on Twitter at Wing That SC at Galligation. That's right. Also, please take a moment to go out to Twitter and uh, search for Mythologic. Send them a tweet at best. Uh, that would be awesome to tell them thanks for supporting the tournament. They're what makes it possible to really bring a wider audience out yeah. to tournaments like this. Um, and we have people here like Puck and uh, and Zan and a couple others have traveled 15 hours to come out here um, thanks to the prize pool we've been able to have uh, thanks to Mythologic they build some really cool PCs recommend you check it out mythologic.com yep send them um, a tweet just tell them thanks for uh, thanks for supporting esports and yep. if you're in the market for a new PC maybe check them out and uh, play around on their website you can build something pretty sweet at a reasonable rate so check them out yep uh, we're going to take a quick break. Like we said, we'll have an interview here with uh, with Game Time, uh, our winner interview, and uh, then we, by then we should know what our next match is, and we'll let you know. So we will be back before too long. All right. Stay tuned.